So when I first came, the faculty were really easy to talk to. I could see that the math faculty can tell who the math majors are because they're enthusiastic, because they recognize that, because they have it themselves. We love math, or we love whatever our discipline is, but we also love to teach. And so to be able to get students in a class that's in our specialty and actually have them interested in it, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I had an ad advisee who is very interested in technical theater. She was one of the people who works with the Hatfield Hall staff, running the lights and the sound for all the theater productions. I had been talking to a physics professor at, at lunch and he works on lighting and optics. She worked with him and with a, an advisor in the math department as well and she got to talk to the physics people about lighting and optics and talk to the math people about the mathematical modeling aspect of that project and it was really neat that it all came together and tied in so well with a personal interest of hers. Kurt, you're a man after my own heart here. Beautiful. <laughs> in one of my meetings with Dr. Tarrant we started talking about math and how it's used in finance. He convinced me that I should take his class called Research in Financial Mathematics in the fall. We were able to take the research that we had done and go to different conferences. If he wasn't willing to talk about broad concepts like career and how mathematics can be used with me, I never would have gotten those kinds of opportunities. Did we need to know that Sam was an NP? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we have enough flexibility and expertise in our faculty that if students want to take a course that is not necessarily on the books, if there's a critical number of students, they can ask around. If there's enough of them, we can get to teach it. I think we did that with topology recently. We don't have a topology course on the book, but there was a group of, I think, six or seven students that wanted to take a topology course, and so we had a professor that was well-versed in that, and so it ran, and I think the students had a very good experience. It took them a year to do it. <laughs> The first one, the very first one. Mathematicians are used uh, to optimize uh, situations in businesses, to optimize production for factories. Dr. Rader teaches a class where you're taking like a real world process like scheduling flights at an airport and trying to optimize that schedule so that people don't have delayed flights or things like that. It was super interesting taking this real world example, framing it in a mathematical model and finding an optimal solution. Mathematicians take a lot of roles in government. I was a cryptologic mathematician for the National Security Agency, which just means that I broke codes for the, for the U.S. government. That's a really good observation. It's the same number for every XI. This is a collaborative place where students will work together. Uh, go ahead and make a guess if you need to. We're going with E. We're going with E. Yeah. A lot of other schools, you end up finding yourself competing with other students to see who can be the best. At Rose Holman, it's about collaboration. It's about communication. If we work together, everybody can do well. We as faculty will encourage students working together because if you have half an answer and somebody else has half an answer together, you get to a solution. I was testing you or something. Rose Holman is very good at what they do and the math department is very gifted because there's so many faculty to help with all of the engineering and science mathematics as well. You get a lot of attention from the faculty and they really know their stuff. Yeah, the math professors at Rose are just the best in the world, hands down.